For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Tesla's highly anticipated self-driving taxi was finally revealed by Elon Musk at a high-profile event this past Thursday. However, instead of excitement, the launch raised more questions than it answered, ultimately causing Tesla's stock to slide. The Tesla chief executive unveiled prototypes of a sleek, futuristic two-door vehicle dubbed the Cybercab, alongside a concept van and an updated version of Tesla's humanoid robot. According to Musk, the Cybercab, a robo-taxi designed without a steering wheel or pedals, could be priced under $30,000, with production potentially starting in 2026. The event took place at a film studio near Los Angeles and was filled with dazzling displays, but it lacked significant substance in areas that matter most to investors and industry experts. Despite the buzz around the futuristic Cybercab, Musk provided little information on how Tesla plans to transition from its current driver assistance technology to fully autonomous vehicles. Specifically, there was no mention of the regulatory hurdles Tesla would need to overcome or whether the company itself would operate a fleet of these robo-taxis. Musk's failure to address these critical issues left many in the industry skeptical about the feasibility of his ambitious goals for the cybercab. Analysts at Jefferies remarked that Tesla's robo-taxi plan appears toothless, lacking the necessary details that would inspire confidence in its success. The lack of specifics had immediate consequences consequences for Tesla's stock, which fell by as much as 10% on Friday, marking the company's largest intraday decline in over two months. By 12.29pm on the same day, Tesla shares had dropped by 7.6%, erasing a staggering $58 billion in market value. This steep drop was particularly notable given that Tesla's stock had soared at nearly 70% since mid-April, largely driven by investor anticipation for the Cybercab event. Interestingly, Tesla's competitors in the ride-hailing industry saw the opposite effect. Both Uber Technologies and Lyft experienced significant gains, with their stocks rising as much as 11% on Friday. In fact, Uber's stock reached an all-time high following Tesla's underwhelming event. Investors in these companies, who had been anxiously awaiting the Cybercab's debut, were likely relieved that the new robo-taxi did not pose an immediate threat to their business models. Tesla has a long history of missing the ambitious timelines set by Musk for future products, particularly when it comes to self-driving technology. Back in 2019, Musk told investors that Tesla would have more than 1 million robo-taxis on the road by the following year. However, not a single autonomous vehicle has been deployed in the years since that bold prediction. This track record of delays continues to raise concerns about whether Tesla will be able to meet the 2026 target for the Cybercab. One of the few concrete details provided during the event was the estimated 30 $30,000 price tag for the Cybercab. Nancy Tengler, the chief executive of Laffer Tengler Investments and a Tesla investor who attended the event, said that while the concept of the Cybercab is undeniably exciting, the lack of specifics left much to be desired. The concepts were all grand, she said. However, like many others, she was left questioning how realistic Tesla's timeline is for bringing the Cybercab to market. For several years, Tesla has been marketing a suite of driver assistance features under the name Full Self Driving or FSD. However, these features still require constant supervision from drivers and do not make Tesla vehicles fully autonomous. At the event, Musk stated that by sometime next year, owners of Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in Texas and California would likely no longer need to supervise the full self-driving features. While this could be a significant step forward for Tesla's self-driving ambitions, it remains unclear how close the company is to achieving full autonomy. Other notable highlights from the event included a concept of van known as the Robovan, which Musk said could transport up to 20 people. This futuristic vehicle design further reinforces Tesla's vision of transforming urban transportation. While Musk provided some rough timelines for the Cybercab, he did not offer any specifics regarding when Tesla might begin production on the Robovan. Despite the excitement generated by the Cybercab and Robovan, many investors left the event feeling underwhelmed. RBC Capital Markets analyst Tom Narayan noted in a report that investors found the event to be lacking in concrete numbers and timelines, which likely contributed to the decline in Tesla's stock price. He predicted that the lack of detailed information would result in the company's shares continuing to trend lower in the near term. The event itself had been delayed by two months, reportedly because Musk ordered changes to the Cybercab's design. The new design features doors that open upward, like butterfly wings, giving the vehicle a futuristic and striking appearance. 
However, the most significant design change is the absence of both a steering wheel and pedals, underscoring Tesla's goal of creating a fully autonomous vehicle. Gene Munster, managing partner of Deepwater Asset Management, had the opportunity to ride in one of the Cybercab prototypes and said the design is impressive. However, he also noted that the reaction from investors would likely remain muted due to the long timeline before the Cybercab becomes available for purchase. During his presentation, Musk addressed the timeline for the Cybercab's release, but his answer was notably vague. He told the audience gathered at the Warner Brothers Discovery Movie Studio that consumers would be able to buy the Cybercab probably by 2026. However, he added that he tends to be optimistic when it comes to timelines and hedged his statement by saying that production would definitely begin before 2027. In the lead-up to the Cybercab event, many analysts had hoped that Tesla would provide updates on the more affordable models Musk has hinted at releasing in the first half of next year. However, no such information was shared, leading to further doubts about Tesla's near-term product lineup. The company will need to deliver a record number of cars and trucks in the coming months to avoid its first annual sales decline. The absence of news on new affordable models has left analysts questioning whether Tesla can maintain its sales momentum. Garrett Nelson, an analyst at CFRA Research, expressed disappointment with the lack of detail regarding Tesla's product plans in the near term. To summarize, Tesla's much-anticipated Cybercab event may have showcased some exciting concepts but it fell short of providing the essential details that investors were hoping for. The event highlighted Musk's vision for the future of transportation, but it also underscored Tesla's ongoing struggles with meeting ambitious timelines and delivering fully autonomous vehicles. With no clear answers on regulation, production schedules, or affordability, investors were left wondering whether Tesla will be able to achieve its lofty goals in the coming years. As a result, the company's stock took a significant hit, while competitors like Uber and Lyft saw their stock prices rise. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.